I just came back from a little bike ride. I opened the door. I look down at my office floor and what do I see? What exactly happens to your cat on catnip? Get the answers in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you get to do so, click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. So exactly what is happening with your cat on catnip? Okay, this is what happened to my office. There is this green looking leafy herbal material. Something tells me that Murray got into Hmm. Do you see what I see in the back of his neck? <laughs> Over his back? Murray. Murray, is there something you want to say? Do you happen to do something, Murray? Under my desk. You uh, can see what the bin where all the green stuff has come from. Hmm. When cats smell catnip, they exhibit many behaviors similar to a queen in heat. You rub your head onto it. Hmm. You appear to want to eat it. Hmm. You vocalize sometimes. No, do you meow? But you sure love it. You are salivating. And you would like put it all over my office floor. Like what's going on? You're crazy about catnip. Like, what is it? Like, look at you. Do you want that? Well, I know you do. Oh, Murray, oh, the fresh catnip. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Murray loves the catnip. Catnip is part of the mint family, and it releases an oil called nepetalactone, and that makes its way in through your cat's nose stimulates areas of his brain, one called the amygdala, producing all these crazy emotions. But believe it or not, one of the super interesting things is researchers say this only lasts for approximately 10 minutes. And after about 10 minutes, they become immune. Like, hmm, I don't know, Murray. Has it been 10 minutes yet? You're still pretty excited by the cat now. Researchers say that it's completely non-addictive, I don't know, Murray. You seem to be pretty. Do you want? Oh no! Look, it's been, it's been out. Oh, geez, hasn't been ten minutes. He still wants more of it. <laughs> but, but it's actually acting much more like a hormone. Hence, you see all those crazy behaviors. Murray's like, you're not yourself. You're usually just this sedate cat that all he wants is food. No, you want it. You want more catnip. Oh, ow, Murray. <laughs> okay, Murray loves catnip. Hmm, cool, but fine, good for your cat. Even potentially good for us. As an aside, catnip is also used for people and alternative medicine. It, it's used for headaches, gas, cramps, indigestion, even for insomnia. Hmm, so you gotta have any of those ailments. Not only can you keep your cat happy, potentially even keep yourself happier as well. You're that slightly irritated. I want my catnip look. Look at you purring away there. You're like, oh, life is good. If only it could be like this every day. As an aside for our cats, catnip can also be an aid in terms of helping a cat that won't eat. It can be an appetite stimulant. And another one of the essential oils isolated from catnip has proven to be a really effective insect repellent. So it may be that having your cat consume catnip, roll in it, can also help keep things like fleas away. Such a good natural treatment. So it's non-addictive, super safe, can do your cat no harm, just a whole bunch of good. Hmm. What do you think, Murray? More catnip for today? All right, I think they might be friendlier. Okay, here you go. More catnip, kitty cat. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on the mystery of catnip revealed. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.
Oh, Murray said it's great. You must click the link and get the book.